Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in this video, I have brought you all my resume, which has helped me to get shortlisted in companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, EPAM, SAP, Informatica, Citrix, Nutanix, Zynga, and many other top product-based organization. And uh, stay tuned till the end of the video and don't skip any important point because I will be sharing my entire resume with you all note down each and every point which you feel yes that particular point can change your life in the coming days so stay tuned to the end and also if you are liking the content like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and share the channel link with your friends at the same time i'm giving all the important links in the description so definitely check out my two months free bootcamp my interview playlist where i've shared all my interview questions and at the same time different types of videos which i'm launching in my channel so what are you waiting for let's get started in in the video so definitely watch each and every point so guys you can see my resume will be flashing on to the screen and at the first right you have to note the point like HR will have only 10 seconds with them so make sure you are impressing with your resume in that 10 seconds so always make sure you are writing your mobile number your email ID and your LinkedIn profile on top so that with single click they go to your LinkedIn profile and check whether you are a genuine candidate or a fake candidate because you should be making sure that nowadays many candidates are coming out as DevOps engineers and they are making their resumes in a fake way. So make sure your genuinity and your trust is reliable with your LinkedIn profile. So I always recommend LinkedIn is the best platform which makes a candidate genuine. Now, apart from that, I would also tell you this resume format worked for me and it made different wonders in my life. Uh, need not be necessarily the same pattern because I at that time I was not that much matured. I was not watching anyone. I solely made this resume with my heart and I didn't copied or pasted any point from any resume. I sat for one week, three days I prepared my resume and three more days I edited my resume. So this is the three page resume, which you will be seeing on the screen page by page. And the first page you are seeing where I am giving my name, my mobile number, email ID and LinkedIn profile. And I'm telling my objective. And I would like to tell you that when I was giving the Amazon interview, the Amazon manager told that my resume was one of the best resume, even that is a three page resume, because you know what? At the end of the video, you will see the third page where I am showing different types of things. And I have particularly added all my things like personal skills, hobbies, interests, what achievements I've done. So you will see entire things, right? So objective you see to be associated with a progressive organization that gives the scope to apply my knowledge and skills and to be the part of the team that dynamically works towards the growth of organization. How beautifully I have framed this sentence where I'm telling that I want to associate with your organization, which is growing rapidly. At the same time, I want to apply my knowledge so that I can contribute my skills to your organizational growth, right? Professional summary. In the first three lines, you will see I'm attracting the HRs. You see, I'm, I'm telling I have 5.2 years of experience in my various specializations like cloud migration, Linux system administration, application security, right application monitoring these all things are very much important being a devops engineer and i'm also telling in the second point that i have completed my certifications as i have told you in the previous video right like red hat uh, certified system administration right ansible automation your kubernetes and i'm telling in the third point that hey hr i have received multiple awards for my hard work so make sure you are boasting whatever you have done in your current organization or the previous organization so make sure you are boasting in a proper manner so that hr gets attracted to your resume right and make sure you are bolding all the letters which you feel that it is important to to justify the particular line at the same time hr i should get onto that particular line so make sure you are highlighting that right then from the fourth point i have started my mentioning my skills my professional summary so i'm telling i have worked on aws on various services hands-on on ci cd jenkins everything work on ssh connectivities your master slave configuration your apache tomcat server installation with your certificate installation ssl installation your dockerizing playing with the docker files your kubernetes writing the manifest files 
playing with the network dockers for your organization so to make sure your dockers your containers all resides in the particular system all right so i am telling from the first page hey hr see my resume i am a person who knows linux system administration who knows monitoring who knows devops who knows the security right by ssls and everything so at the first instance only right uh, someone should feel that yes this is the candidate who is making sure he knows everything let's not waste time let's give a try with this candidate they should get that much uh, notion that and they should select your resume and you should be able to sit in the interview right so this is how the first page is looking like and i have also mentioned everything so make sure whenever you are writing some point it justifies with your entire resume now many of the times i see people are just writing the tools section and they are not writing anything about that tool in anywhere in the resume so it means that you are faking the hr right so make sure you are writing that and also bold the letters very very much important now hands on experience on gitlab runner pipeline installed grafana mysql integration with database everything i am telling and i also am adding a one more beautiful point sre sre point of view is very much important for devops engineers because now sre and devops both goes hand in hand so make sure some of the other points you add it and what you are doing tell them in a genuine way don't bluff the hrs or the interview panelists make sure if you are trying to bluff also make sure you are confident and you are a telling everything in a proper true manner right yes also cloud environment which is very much important what type of cloud you know just keep it container and orchestration tool bug tracking tool your programming language which is very much important being a devops engineer now professional experience i am mentioning where i have worked and also from date and from year you should be properly mentioning and if possible make sure you are writing that you are permanent employee or full time employee with the current organization uh, why i am telling all these things your linkedin profile and this this permanent employee or full time employee because you should be able to understand how an hr will justify that this candidate is a true candidate and working in the current organization right so make sure you are somewhere different from others because you are part of singam community right now let's go ahead with the project summary projects i have kept based on my knowledge whatever i have worked in the previous organization right now you see some different patterns i have followed in the project right now project one if you see i have followed somewhere the role as build and release engineer where i have only mentioned about the jenkins how i was doing the build and deployment how i have set the the master slave configuration how i have written the groovy scripts right and how i have set up each tool integrated with the ci cd pipeline how i have written the ansible playbooks how i have interacted with the qa teams which is very much important you should be able to understand the qa requirements at the same time dev development team requirements right now configuring sonar cube configuring various tools as i have told you right and uh, you see some of the automations which i have done i have kept automation of every application coverage report status in email right so sonar cube automation which i have done i have kept here and uh, gitlab sonar cube jira confluence jenkins rest api automation so i always tell being a devops engineer you should always work on rest api automation also which will definitely fetch you good deeds in the coming days project 2 if you see i have kept as aws engineer and uh, this project is basically how i have worked on various aws services so if you see some of the roles and responsibilities created the uh, the entire infrastructure with cloud formation template management of your iam roles security groups your dg certs installation on the amazon certificate manager how i have uh, uh, how i have integrated that with load balancer how that load balancer is getting integrated with your ec2 instances or your ecs or the kubernetes right so make sure you are writing each and every point now if you see in this particular page i am almost writing everything which i am actually working on the ground terminology right so i have never bluffed anything and whatever the points i have written again i am telling i have written from my heart i have not copied from any Anyway, right now if you see project 3 i am mentioning that hey hr i am also working as a monitoring engineer you take me in i will be giving your organization the best monitoring support now you see what i have kept how i have created the new relic new relic alerts dashboards metrics the sre soe terminology sla sli slos terminology which i was working the elastic search log stash and kibana setup which i have done for my organization and i have integrated with all the different types of applications and their logs were getting 
pushed into the Kibana dashboard. Your sentry monitoring for your applications and how the application performance monitoring on terms of new relic have helped the various uh, teams have kept in and uh, MySQL database. And you see this MySQL database I have also kept in the in the first few lines, right? So I am also justifying that I have not loved. I am telling the truth. Also here the point I have mentioned, right? Now project four. These three projects I have worked in Verizon. This project four. Right, I have worked in Infosys. So if you have not seen how I have transformed my career from DBA, Java, QA to DevOps, just see on the I button, you will be seeing the actual resume of my Infosys where this single project I have changed into the three projects, right, which I actually worked in Infosys. So here I am telling DevOps engineer May 2016 to 2000, June 2019, where how I have worked in Infosys, what are the tools, what are the systems I have worked, uh, everything I have put down. Now, if you see educational qualification, which is very important, right, page number six. So I, it's not three page resume, it's almost eight page resume. And uh, I, I believed that uh, it, it had worked, <laughs> it will work me, uh, work for me and it has worked for me. Not necessarily, you can make three page two page according to your status your believeness on yourself your content so on, always be honest with your terminology now educational qualification if you see i was doing mba and i have also done completed my mba in september 2022 and i have mentioned in this page june 2022 because i wanted to make sure hr knows that this guy is putting some efforts extra efforts on educational side also right and the bachelor of engineering when i have completed which college i have completed in which year i have passed out so nothing i have let i have added every point in detailed right now training and certification see how i have written red hat certified linux system administrate administration by red hat when i have received with certification id your agile safe uh, pi planning course which i have done your uh, ansible administration i have done with your certification id it throws a genuinity of the candidate right so make sure you are doing that now honors and awards now what people do here mistake is they just put Honors and awards, some spotlight awards, some cash award. They don't mention for which purpose you have got, how many times you have got, from whom you have got, when you have got. So make sure you are framing some tabular data like this. So I have kept award name, date issued, issued by comments. What comments I have got for that award, what I have done extraordinary that people have are giving some awards to a particular candidate. So make sure you are writing the best pointers on the resume, right? Now going ahead, if you see page number seven, I have written personal skills. So this personal skills are very important for your companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, because they see some leadership qualities in you. They see some dynamic qualities in you. They find in the resume whether this candidate is putting some extra time and efforts on some other things or not. So you see, have willingness to learn new things, have good interpersonal and good communication skills, right? These all things shows that how Praveen as a person is residing. He or she as a HR will get a picture of myself, big picture. And when I'm attending the interview, if that interview pattern matches with my resume, then I'm a genuine candidate, right? Have excellent problem solving, time management skills, ability to work independently. These all things I have done, so I've kept in the resume. So make sure you are also doing all the things. Hobbies and interests, people generally put that, but I have put, I wanted to make sure that this guy, Praveen is putting some extra time in hobbies and interests also. I like to play badminton. I like to organize events. So when you see organize events, you will see something similarly matching with the award section, right? I host the event. I, I take a lead to, uh, to solve some of the projects, right? Now, personal information, personal profile and everything, declaration. And that's it. That's how my resume gets ended with a eight page resume, right? But I would, I would recommend everyone to go as as per your wish, you can put your three page resume, two page resume, one page resume or a eight page resume like me. But it, I never felt even I was not knowing that I have made eight page resume until I was I was explaining you all the things. But as you have seen, every page is important to me. Everything which I have discussed is true about me. I have not bluffed. I have not blamed anyone in this resume. I always admired my organization and my projects and I've kept the things which I've done genuinely. So make sure you are 
giving your best in the resume hobbies personal skills your achievements your awards your certification your projects data your professional summary your years of experience your email id if possible keep photo also in your resume right so that the first impression is the best impression make sure you are doing everything for your resume take one week of time sit in the calm room meditate and prepare your resume in the best way because this is the place where in the next few years you will be getting the deeds out of it right good deeds out of it so support your family make sure you are strengthening day by day you're becoming more stronger part of the singham community right so i hope you have liked the video you have seen my resume every other details are in description and uh, i would only thank you all for your support if you have liked the video like the video if you have subscribed to the channel subscribe it and also share it with your friends if you have not subscribed subscribe newly and uh, the like target i am not keeping anything i i i hope i am making sure that i have given the best content till now right and uh, my resume is front of front of you go ahead and make your resume as it is or as per your wish so this is pravin singham signing off from this video let's meet in another video stay tuned stay safe and uh, prepare for the best take care bye